So here we are, we arrived in uh, Tombstone, Arizona. Got a nice little parking spot there on the rocks. Yeah. Pretty nice little RV park. Um, yes. The Tombstone RV park, it's right outside of Tombstone, about three miles, I think. Um, they got a pool. A little cold and, right now. <laughs> yeah, it's cold right now, but uh, everybody's got a fire going. But um, Super what, nice. What'd they charge us per night here? Uh, $41. $41 a night, that's not bad. Nope. Um, there's the tombstone sign, founded in 1879. Um, pretty, pretty full here. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be this full. Not that um, it's right off the main highway coming into Tombstone too, so it's really easy to get to. Yeah, especially with the big RV. It's and really we don't have a lot of trees, so we didn't have a problem getting our RV scratched. So we are going into Tombstone here. Uh, we're gonna go to the Main Street and see what we can dig up for some food. We yeah. usually don't eat out, but uh, we'll make an exception tonight. We, we've we been to Tombstone twice before, uh, just for short trips. Um, and actually we stayed at this RV park the last time on the way through. Yeah. And we were gonna stay on at this RV park when we went to pick up our last RV that they canceled on us out in Phoenix. And we had it reserved and the RV Park was so nice they refunded our money and everything yeah. uh, which is unheard of. Unheard of yeah. We stayed in Lake Havasu um, when we got out to Arizona and we booked for a week there because they told us they had an internet that was really good and we got there and found out they had hardly any internet and, at all. And none so, of our Wi-Fi rangers were Yeah anything. so we stayed two days and we tried to get a refund for a part of it and they wouldn't refund our money, so we had to pay for like seven days. Yeah, and that's, at, that at, was about at, $120 a day. Yeah, that was a lot too. So we lost almost, we lost $1,000, over $1,000 because... And those lots weren't as nice as this one. Here's the Boot Hill graveyard right there. Yeah, oh, they're all them. decorated for Christmas. So nice. You can probably see the cemetery, uh, I don't know if you can see, no, can't see the cemetery out there. The circle K. We're gonna, coming up on the Circle K, which we can, we can stop in there later, I guess. Um, there's cars stopped in the road. Oh, it looks like a traffic accident? I don't know. We had a traffic accident on the way uh, here. We spent about an hour and a half sitting in traffic. It was actually a motorhome was rolled over. Oh, there's there's, there's some bunch of deer in the road. <laughs> that's that's uh, oddest thing to see in years. We, we actually saw a couple when we pulled into the RV uh, park too, but I guess there's a lot of mule deer here. In town, huh. so That's this so cute old decorated. We're driving down the main drag of Tombstone here. There's the Wells Fargo RV park. We opted not to stay in that yeah. one said, no, thank um, you. for obvious reasons. Um, nope. <laughs> I don't think it's too big rig friendly. No. There's the OK Corral gunfight site. Uh, a couple old buildings. I really want to grab my metal detector and, and go in here. Um, but I'm sure that won't make him too happy. There's the Tombstone Motel. motel. Rooms from $49.95. Another motel. And apparently there's some hauntings around here. Some of this area is supposed to be haunted at night. They have ghost tours. We should take a ghost tour. <laughs> There's the Tombstone Unified School. That's for sale? For sale. They built a brand new one. It is a Taj Mahal of a school. I don't know how this little town affords it, but apparently they have money. Yeah. Or the taxpayers are paying a lot. Yeah. There's the Wizard's Workshop. And I think this road actually goes to Brisbee yep. and so Douglas. Um, we might take a tour to Brisbee tomorrow. We'll see. They have a pretty strict mask order down yeah. there, and I don't know what other, what other thing they have going on, but um, here's a... Nice little scary gas station we're pulling into. I don't know where we're going, but... I was going back down towards the rest of town. Oh, is that where you're going? Yeah. Are you sure you know where you're going? I know where I'm going, yeah. Okay. So here we'll film Anne <laughs> here as she gets us lost. I'm not getting us we're lost. Not, we're not driving down any farm roads no, here today. No, we're not. No, so. totally avoid that. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't talk about your red hair yet either, did no, we? No, we didn't. Yeah, she colored her hair red, as you can see. Um, Something fun! Verdict's still out on that for me, but <laughs> she likes it, so that's good. That's growing on me, though. Um, 
So we're going to go back. I think we're going to take a left up here on one of these roads. Yeah, one of these roads. There's the Tombstone Antique Mall there. It's all good stuff. Yeah, Allen Street is where we want to go. This one right here? Yeah. And they have the courthouse. We actually toured the courthouse. Yes. Very, very interesting little That's tour there. Um, I definitely should see that. There's the Western Heritage Museum. I'm not sure it'll be open. This, I mean, no. it's it's uh, almost 5:30, so I don't know if all the stores close or what they do here. But we'll look for a little parking place here. There's the. Actually, it's oh, some stuff is it's open. got a few people down there. Birdcage Theater, that's a very interesting uh, yeah, it's very cool. one, too. So, oh, pull it right in here. It's yeah. about, what is it, 6 o'clock? Yeah, almost well, 6.30. Dark out here in the street. Yeah. We just got done eating at Big Nose Kate's Saloon. Way cool. Had some drinks, yeah, pretty cool place. Uh, food was really good. Yeah, food was excellent. Service was awesome. So, yeah, service was good. Not many people, though. No. It's pretty deserted around here. Yeah, it's uh, sad. COVID has kind of really hit Tombstone hard, I think. But uh, this is at night. And this is pretty much Arizona at night. <laughs> it is. No lights. There, it, it actually looks no a light lot. Pollution. It, it actually looks a lot brighter in the video than it than it is. Yeah. All these lights aren't nearly that bright when you're no. walking out here. You can actually you can hardly see the ground, but yeah. you really can't tell that on the video. No, it's really dark. It looks really bright. So we're gonna take a little walk down here, see if anything else is open. Let's see if there's any other saloons we can grab something at. And if not, then we'll head back to the RV park. Or it's gonna be warm. And can, yeah, it is. It's cold. So <laughs> we'll continue our adventure tomorrow then. So we're in Brisbee, Arizona. This is the big mine. Queen Anne, I believe it was. Queen Anne mine. Isn't that cool? This is just a part of it. Yeah, we've passed a bunch more of it. And the ground is really irony and just as fast. I think they get a little of everything. I think they have copper and gold and silver and everything. This is the back side of the hill. The elevation went really up after Tombstone. Here. Yeah, we're about 5,300 right here, but you can see all the iron into the mountains around there. Yeah. A different town driving through. Yeah, it is. Way different. We'll do a video uh, going through town. But yeah, that's. So we're headed back into Brisbane right now, so you can kind of see what that's. Mike said he found a cannon up on this hill here, so I'm going to see if I can find it here. I think it's on that next one up there. You can probably get this that side, side down here, too. Yeah, and that's the other part of the mine we just looked at. And it goes way down there. Yeah, it's way deep. Yeah, there's up in that, up in that ledge there. Let's see. Like a little fortress or something. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that a little bit. Just look at how different that rock is. Oh yeah, I see the cannon up there in that little uh, fort almost. Yeah. This is downtown Brisbane here. Yeah. I think it's, I it's a lot of hippies because we drove through here and all we could smell was pot. Yeah, you could smell it in the car. <laughs> in the car, it was. It was pretty intense. Oh, cute little train thing. We got our ladder rattling in the back. Yeah. I know that's with us. Everybody's dressed up warm. Yeah. With masks on. Yeah. So we won't be stopping. No, we decided not to. Uh, there's not much, uh, there's a lot there's of places closed, closed yeah. right now, but it's actually kind of cool to drive through. Yeah. I 
That'd be really cool uh, when it's all open. It'd be really fun just to walk down here for an afternoon. Yeah, all the shops are closed, or yeah. a lot of them are. A few are still open, but... Tombstone was much more open and... Yeah. Welcoming. Grand Hotel. It, you know, it doesn't look really that old, but I guess... Some of the buildings like that one. Yeah, like that one isn't too bad. It's very artsy here. Yep. They do a lot of repainting and... Upkeep on it. A lot of brick compared to like Tombstone had a lot of wood. Here's the Inn at Castle Rock. That place looks pretty old. Yeah, I think it was 1895. I like the military truck parked outside. That, yeah. <laughs> that has a lot of ambiance. It to does. The, uh... And so you can see up there an old water tower, oh, it yeah. looks like. And it looks like everyone kind of has their little shingle out to be a B and b through yeah, here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I don't know if it gets really touristy in the summer. Summer would be really cool. A couple old churches, it looks like. government building appears to be. Yeah, I, I think, think it's the county seat here actually. Oh, for... Let's see. You can see how this area is a lot different elevation. It has a lot more trees. This is where we have the pot smell right here. Yeah, pot smell started here. Circle K is happening. I like the smell of pot again. A lot. Oh, yeah. I do too. <laughs> it's all the residential area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we just sit here and get high. Oh my huh? gosh. Contact high. I thought at first I thought it was a skunk, like skunks in the road or something. No, that was like, so funny like, too. Oh, there's no skunks in here. <laughs> And once I'm like, nah, I can't be smelling it in the car. Yep. Yeah, we even have a cabin air filter in this car. Yeah, that's well, that's filled with dust, I'm sure, yeah. at this point. <laughs> it should so. be clogged up. It should, it should be clogged be up bad, man. Through. After going all the desert. Nice cell phone tower up there, see? So you get cell service. Yeah, yeah. I got cell service. Interesting driveway. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Fire building. So this is old Brisbane. A bunch of different water towers throughout the whole town. Well, they got plenty of water storage. Yeah. Huh? Some rough country up here, though. Yeah. Hiking on the on the hills it's and not, mountains. Being. Yeah, it's not really desert. I mean, it's there's a lot of vegetation. Yeah. He's not scared just to no, park his trailer it. and put cones around it. Yeah, that's all you do here. Some older houses. Schoolhouse, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's got a bed and breakfast here. Yeah, that's why I noticed when I was driving through. I was like, crazy. It's interesting that building's built up over the wash. Oh, it is. That's about it. We'll catch up later. So we left uh, Tombstone this morning. Yep. And we are in Fort Stockton, so Texas. Texas. And really nice laid out park. Uh, the guy inside was super friendly. Cool thing about this place 
is the GPS map coordinates to get you here are totally wrong. So right on their big website, they have a big flashing sign that says, do not use those, use these. And they're right on. It was great. I think we're right next to a prison, though. I, I, we drove past the <laughs> correctional like facility, and there's like there's Constantina wire and big buildings and like fences all over. So I'm not sure. I'm going to, uh, you know, we'll, we're going to sleep we'll with the gun tonight, well I guess. Tonight. Um, so the only problem we had when we got to Tombstone, we didn't go over it in our last video, but we have the surge protector here. And um, we, we've used it before, but when we plugged in the RV, we couldn't get the air conditioning yeah, going. Power. We, we had power coming through voltage, but uh, no amperage would come through. Um, so it was like it was running off the batteries. Yeah. But the minute we unplugged the surge protector, and plugged it everything worked in. fine. Yeah. It worked in. So, so we don't I'll know. We don't know. That's the first time we've experienced that. Um, that's the other. That's the only other thing we came across. Um, we've got our sewer hose hooked up, and we we rode it over the exhaust pipe for the aqua hot because the aqua hot gets so hot that if you have your sewer pipe over it, it's just plastic and it'll melt it. Don't ask us how we know that. <laughs> um, it's pretty nice here. They've got actual all the all the spots are covered and it's kind of a concrete rock mixture rock down mixture. here so it's a little bit it's less dusty yeah so you've been... you've got your texas outfit on yep. so we fit so I, in I so they in. won't they won't <laughs> they won't kick us out of here but um the check-in was pretty easy i think Super. it was like 35 dollars a night um big big place mm -hmm. good internet here so far yeah we've got good good at&t good t-mobile um no real problems on the way here, except that we did hit a little bit of a traffic jam, not too long, like five minutes, but it was a truck full of sod, sod on fire. started on fire. Hopefully I caught that on tape. So yeah, we'll we see. will have that on tape. Um, the only other issue we have is that the seal on the driver's window appears to have broken, so there's moisture inside, so you can't really see out of it very good. No. Uh, that's been going on for since the trip out here yeah. when it got really really cold it froze and it must have froze and broke the seal so that's that's the only real issue we've had the tire pressure was all good today so we've got that fixed up our def tank gauge kind of flew all the way down that's right the def tank gauge um so wasn't tank, working because we filled it up filled it all up it's 100 percent and all of a sudden yeah. we look over it's down to a quarter we're like yeah. what happened but it, it keeps going up and down a yeah. little bit it's so i think so. it's it's defective we'll have to we'll have to get that figured out as long out. as it don't go below a quarter we're good so it doesn't go in red so, so other than that uh we're, we're 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 staying here for the night got the vehicle hooked up and we're gonna head out tomorrow uh head on the way back to florida we got a long day tomorrow yeah. so um we're looking forward to that. Okay, here we are with our Tiffin tonight. Um, we had a little problem getting the DVD player. All of a sudden it stopped working on the front TV. So we... It worked everywhere else. Yeah, we traced it back. And we actually had to rewire this because it was a complete disaster when we got it. But um, the two splitter boxes are here. And this has the DVD player also. So it splits the DVD player to all of the TVs. And of course, if we had a satellite dish or a cable internet, it would split it to all the TVs. So all of a sudden the front TV stopped working. So we took these cables out here. They're each marked front, mid, rear. Switched them around and we found that the front cable wasn't reading. Yeah. So we went up, tried to figure out how to get- How to get back behind the TV. Behind the TV. And the TV is bolted on. You basically have to take the cabinets out. So we got this panel off, and we found that the HDMI splitters. Look at this. Look at this. This this is a lot better than it actually was, but it was a rat's nest in here before. Um, so I'm organizing this whole thing. But these splitters are hooked into powered splitter boxes. Come to find out, the power cable from the splitter box was unhooked because it was um, getting jostled around. Yeah, it was the roads are so rough today, but there's a uh, there's a power strip way back in there and one of the plugs was just teetering on it, making it work randomly. So we plug that in. Now I'm gonna 
I'm going to get those all bundled up and put the screws back in and we should be good to go. Hey everyone, we made it to Florida. Probably the fastest trip we've ever made <laughs> from Louisiana here. <laughs> we did, uh, we ended up uh, driving from Tombstone to Texas. Yep. And we stayed in, in uh, Fort Stockton, yep. Texas. And then we drove to Louisiana. We had a RV spot reserved. Picked out, told them how big we were. Yeah, and we, behind. we didn't get there until much after dark because we hit bad traffic jams all the way. So we got in there, we pulled in there, and... Pitch black, no lights. Yeah, no lights, couldn't see anything. Get in there, and there's trees on both sides of the, of the driveway going in that we didn't see, of course. Scratched down the sides of the RV, and there's people parked in there, and we couldn't have even parked in there no, anyway. there's no this, way to shoot This place, it. yeah, after they told you it was fit for a 20 fine, yeah. or a 45, 45 foot, foot RV, um, there's no way. So no. we ended up uh, leaving you there. Can leave. Yeah, we got irritated and left. <laughs> so we, and of course we haven't got a refund for that. I'm sure we no. won't. I'm sure they're not going to refund our money. No. Um, so at that point we were just, we said that was the, the second bad RV park we've had in Louisiana. In Louisiana yeah. So we just gave up. We said, you know, let's just drive and maybe we'll find a rest stop on the way. Of course not. And we drove back. Yeah, no rest stops. No rest they were stop. all They were all, all filled full. up. So we ended up driving 24 hours straight and uh, driving back to Florida. Yep. Just just got here. Um, we're Luckily our resort here. Pretty nice RV okay. resort here, yeah. The so we're was, like I called up, I'm like, you know. They gave us the VIP spot. Yeah, so they did. They let us in early. We stayed here before, so they, it's, really nice. they, it's actually packed. Yeah, it's really busy. Um, so, but otherwise, you know, no, no problems with the RV. The RV That's has cool. been... Uh, Flawless. Has been excellent. So we didn't have any issues at all. No. The, de the death fluid gauge did, did stick a little bit, when it got stick a little bit but it came back to normal. Um, it came back to normal when we added again, so that was yeah. a good sign. So we got, that was a good deal. The Jeep, uh, our new tires seem to have fixed the death wobble. Yep, no more Because we were, we were pulling out pretty quick. Yeah, we, we were taking some pretty hard turns pretty fast just to see what would happen. And everything handled it. So what we did is we actually went up a size on the tire, and we put off-road tires on it. Got so a lot I'm, more absorption. I'm thinking the cushioning of the tires maybe maybe did that. We did have a little problem with the taillights on the on the Jeep not working right. So I've got to look into that. I've got to look into that. So, um, but otherwise we're gonna probably take a little rest here today and uh, get ready for our next adventure.